friends. Do you have a pet that you just love? Is there anything about your pet that maybe isn't so great? Well, today we're going to read a story about dog breath. National Dog Day is coming up, and so I thought we'd celebrate with a fun read. And if you need any other reads about dogs, we've got a lot of great choices here at Fairhope Library. Today's selection, Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis by Dave Pilkey. Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis by Dave Pilkey. Published by the Blue Sky Press. There once was a dog named Hallie who lived with the Tosis family. Hallie Tosis was a very good dog, but she had a big problem. Look at the family holding their noses. Hallie Tosis had horrible breath. Whenever Hallie Tosis opened her mouth, horrible things happened. Oh my, look at the goldfish turned upside down. All the leaves are falling off the trees and even the wallpaper is peeling off of the walls. When the children took Halitosis for a walk, everyone else walked on the other side of the street. Even skunks avoided Halitosis. But the real trouble started one day when Grandma Tosis stopped by for a cup of tea. And Hallie jumped up to say hello. Oh my goodness, look at poor Grandma. She threw her tea right up in the air. Mr. and Mrs. Tosis were not amused. Something has to be done about that smelly dog, they said. And poor Grandma, she still bowled over in her chair. The next day, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis decided to find a new home for Hallie. Aw, look at those poor kids. They're so sad. Free dog to a good home. The children knew that the only way they could save their dog was to get rid of her bad breath. So they took Halitosis to the top of a mountain that had a breath-taking view. They hoped that the breath-taking view would take Hallie's breath away. But it didn't. Oh my, look at the poor sunshine. Next, the children took Halitosis to a very exciting movie. They hoped that all the excitement would leave Hallie breathless. They're going to see Breath of a Salesman. But it didn't. Oh, it didn't work. Look at the actors on the screen. Even they're holding their noses. Finally, the children took Halitosis to a carnival. They hoped that Hallie would lose her breath on the speedy roller coaster. Do you think that will work? Oh my, I don't think so. Look at those poor kids, what a ride. But that idea stunk. The plans to change Hallie's bad breath had failed. Now, only a miracle could save Halitosis. Sadly, the three friends said goodnight, unaware that a miracle was just on the horizon. Later that night, when everyone was sound asleep, two sneaky burglars crept into the Tosis house. The two burglars were tiptoeing through the dark, quiet rooms when suddenly they came upon Halitosis. Yikes, whispered one burglar. It's a big, mean, scary dog. Aw, oh, don't be silly, whispered the other burglar. That's only a cute little fuzzy puppy. The two burglars giggled at the sight of such a friendly little dog. That dog couldn't hurt a fly, whispered one burglar. Come here, Poochie Poochie, whispered the other. So Halitosis came over and gave the burglars a nice big kiss. <laughs> Slurp! Oh goodness! The next morning, the Tosis family awoke to find two burglars passed out cold on their living room floor. What happened to them? <gasps> Look, Halitosis, her breath got to the burglars. It was a miracle. The Tosis family got a big reward for turning in the crooks. 
And soon, Halitosis was the most famous crime-fighting dog in the country. Look at the headlines in the newspapers. Hero Hound halts the hoodlums. The Boston Beacon says bad breath bungles the burglary. And panting pooch paralyzes prowlers. The tabloid Times says mutant space dog captures evil Elvis clones. And the rancid respirations restrain the robbers. In the end, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis changed their minds about finding a new home for Hallie. They decided to keep their wonderful watchdog after all. This home is protected by dog breath. <laughs> because life without halitosis just wouldn't make any sense. Look at the family with the clothespins on their noses. The end. How would you solve the problem of your dog's bad breath? Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope you don't have any problems with halitosis. Until next time, bye-bye.